Hello and welcome to the history of computers. Everybody uses computers these days. We all carry around smartphones and we work on computers and laptops. We can virtually do anything on a computer. But what is the history of computers? The history of computers goes further back than you might think. Devices to help people with computation have been around for thousands of years. The first ever true mechanical analog computer was created during Roman times, around 100 BC. It was named the Antikythera Mechanism and it was found in 1901. Roman astronomers used it to calculate astronomical positions. Devices with such a high level of complexity would not reappear until a thousand years later. In the 11th century, Abu Rayyan al-Biruni, who lived in Persia, invented an analog computer capable of working out several problems in spherical astronomy. Amongst other things, he invented a mechanical geared lunisolar calendar astrolabe. In the beginning of the 17th century, the slide rule was invented. Slide rules were used for doing multiplications and divisions. Later, scales were added so that the slide rule could also do reciprocals, square roots, cube roots, exponentials and other complex functions. Slide rules are still in use today in aviation to solve time distance problems. In the 1770s, Pierre Jacques Droz, a Swiss watchmaker, built a mechanical doll that could write holding a quill pen. The doll is an example of an automaton, a self-operating machine designed to automatically follow a predetermined sequence of operations, the closest thing yet to come to computers as we know them today. By switching the number and order of its internal wheels, different letters and hence different messages could be produced. Charles Babbage is considered the father of the computer. In early 19th century, he invented the first mechanical computer to aid in navigational calculations. In 1833, he realized that a much more general design was possible. The machine was a century ahead of its time and because of that he had to make all the parts of his computer by hand. The government decided to stop funding and the project was dissolved. Nevertheless, his son, Henry Babbage, completed a simplified version of the machine. By 1938, the United States had developed an analog computer small enough to fit into a submarine. The torpedo data computer could solve the problem of firing a torpedo at a moving target. During World War II, the British Army, located at Bletchley Park, achieved a number of successes by breaking encrypted German military communications. There were two devices built to break these codes, Bomb and Colossus. Bomb was conceptualized by Alan Turing, a mathematician. This machine helped breaking the unbreakable Enigma code from the Germans. Because of this machine, the Allies were able to defeat the Nazis in many crucial engagements. It is estimated that Turing's work shortened the war with two years and that 14 million lives were saved. The other machine was Colossus, the world's first electronic, digital, programmable computer. This machine was created to crack an even more sophisticated code than Enigma. Tommy Flowers designed and built the code-breaking machine. It took him 11 months to create this machine. The United States built ENIAC, a device similar to Colossus, but that could work out problems a thousand times faster than any machine. It was created in 1945. The principle of the modern computer was elaborated by Alan Turing in his seminal 1936 paper on computable numbers. He proved that such a machine is capable of computing anything that is computable. The fundamental concept of Turing's design is a stored pro program, where instructions could be stored in memory. In 1946, 
bipolar transistor was invented, which made these computers drastically smaller. The integrated circuit made the computer even smaller. The general idea of the integrated circuit was conceptualized in 1952. It was a body where all the components of the electronic circuit were integrated. This invention led to the invention of microprocessors and opened the commercial and personal use of computers. In 1968, engineers at MIT's Instrumentation Laboratory created the Apollo Guidance Computer. It was not bigger than 30, 32 kilograms. This device steered the Apollo 11 to the moon one year later. Steve Jobs and his engineers created a ready-to-use computer for customers, the Apple II. The first copy of the Apple II was sold in 1977. It was sold with a main logic board, a keyboard, a mouse, a case, game pedals and a cassette tape with the game Breakout. For more than two decades it sold in the millions. Commodore introduced the Commodore 64 or C64 in 1982. It featured impressive graphics and it came for a price of $595. It is the greatest selling single computer of all time. In 1984 Apple released the Macintosh. It costed $2500 but it came with a mouse-driven computer with a gra graphical interface. Included in the price was Mac Paint and Mac Rides. In 1985, Mic Microsoft released its first Windows program, Windows 1. It was the first version of the Microsoft Windows line that is now found in a lot of computers. The first web browser was invented in 1990 by Sir Tim Berners-Lee. It was called the World Wide Web, not to be confused with www. Later it was renamed as the Nexus. The first website that went online was info.cern.ch, which was also created by Tim Berners-Lee at the research lab CERN in 1990. In 1998 Apple released the iMac, a range of all-in-one computers. The machine was noted for its ease of use, the key to the Apple success. In 2007, Apple released the iPhone, a combination of a phone, a web browser and a music player. It also came with a touchscreen to enable the camera and different applications, or short, Apps. Facts Alan Turing, the father of computer science, artificial intelligence and who helped break German World War II ciphers, committed suicide after being forced to undergo hormonal treatment for homosexuality and barred from continuing his cryptographic work. Fact. HP, Google, Microsoft and Apple all started out of garages. Fact The password for the computer controls of nuclear tipped missiles of the US was 8 times 0 for 8 years. Fact The domain name www YouTube.com was registered February 14th, 2005, so before the first ever iPhone was created. This was the history of computers. I hope to see you in a future video. Thanks for watching.